I had a son, Joey, who was seven, and a daughter, Natasha, who was four. And in 1993, a fire started in our house, and I lost my kids, and I lived through it. I don't remember anything until I got outside. I had a big bruise on my head. I feel like someone carried me out that door. Diamond has thrown my kid's death in my face. She has said I let my kids die and I'm gonna let her die also. I've been afraid since the day my daughter Diamond and my son Mitch were born that they were gonna die. Let me say first off, um, I'm very, very sorry for your loss. Um, I, I cannot even imagine uh, what you went through then, what you must go through every day, and what you must think about it. It's just not the natural order of things for children uh, to be buried by their parents. That's, that's, that's just terrible, and, and, and in such a tragic way, uh, I, I just, uh, you'll never hear me say I know how you feel because I don't, that would be stupid of me to say. I don't know how you feel. Uh, I do know that you're parenting from guilt and fear. Yeah. And I do know that from what you're saying that it's being used against you as leverage. And you're scared to death that you're gonna lose yet a third child. Yeah, for sure. And so, you're living with a stark terror of that happening again. Yes. Do you use that to leverage your mother? No. Diamond, yes what? you do. No, when you're angry at me, what do you say to me? I, I don't I'm, say I, anything I don't like deserve that. to have kids. I've already killed two. I'm gonna kill you too. Diamond, I wouldn't make that up and you know that. So quit lying. Should be ashamed of yourself. It exactly how she's saying it. How do you say it? Well, basically, if it's in a certain situation where I feel like something's gonna happen to me where like I am gonna die, I said, I don't know how I exactly said it, but I know I said like, you already had two that did pass away, and you I don't want to be another in one. Situations, not mom. She raised the both of us. She doesn't even have to call and check on me. She doesn't call me to say hello anymore or nothing because she's too busy dealing with you. Look at me. We were raised under the same house by the same people. Look at the difference. I did it. I made it. You can do it too. You're just so stuck on mom. You just need to, you, and mom, you need to let him go and let him do his thing and learn just like I did.